Good evening. Happy Monday. Um, welcome back to Talk Yarny to Me. You have once again found me on my little corner of the internet. My name is Zuri. I will be talking yarny to you for a while. I'm going to adjust just a little bit. Um, okay. So I have been, it's been a couple weeks, but I actually do not have a whole ton to show you. Well, I have a lot of one thing. How about that? But um, not a whole ton because I've been kind of hyper focused a little on um, my little purple hat project that I mentioned for um, trying to be diplomatic with my words because I think I can be heard <laughs> and my uh, my young man doesn't know about this um, but uh, the hats that I'm making for his soccer team <laughs> um, anyway so I've, I'm almost done with those. I really would have had those done by now, but work and life has slowed me down a little bit. But out of the 19 that I definitely need, I think I have 13, 12 or 13 completed. And I have one upstairs that I can probably finish tonight. So I'll show you that. Before I do that, I want to show you, um, I want to show you this. I want to show you one other thing. And then I'll have another hot project that I started that um, kind of jumped in there. But I want to show you guys, I think you remember my little scrappy C to C blanket that I've been um, using up my scrap yarns, like my scrap four weights on. Um, last time you saw this, I was in the middle of unraveling my failed temperature blanket from 2020. And I was almost done. I finally powered through that last week and got that done and then added on like all the other random scraps that I have. And so we actually made a lot of progress on this. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Let me back up a little bit. So this is where we're at now. We started down here. That's the best way to do this. So that's probably better. We started down here and then starting here-ish with this mango color. That's the temperature blanket. Bam, 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 bam. Spring, early spring or late winter and then into winter. So it ends about here. I think this right here is actually like the last one I put in. Is it this one? One of these down here. Okay. Then we went into, had a couple of different things. This is like the pink camo red heart super saver and then this is like some leftover um big twist baby or little twist baby i forget what they call it something it's it's the joanne's baby yarn and i feel like there's another thing i added in but i can't find it so this is where we are i really like it it's really cool and pretty um but now it's probably gonna go away for a while until i get up another uh little stash of scraps so I just want to show you guys that real quick. And then we're going to put it all here, I guess, in a good place, out of the way. All right. So let me show you these hats I've been working on. Like if you recall, um, oh, I'll show you this one too. So I showed you this hat here, which was the little cat ear hat that I made that was a little bit small for me. Oh, and then you want to squeeze it on my head. So I went, did I go up a hook size? Or did I just chain more or both? I don't remember. But I made another one that's slightly bigger. And perfect fit. Right? So this is like the Bag of Day cat ears hat. Is that not cute? It's adorable. Um, and I'm tempted to keep this, but I decided not to. I have so many hats. I have hats. Like, I have hats. I have so many hats. And as much as I like wearing hats... They don't always love me. This one's cute though. I think I have some more of this, so if I start regretting it, <laughs> I will um I will uh make myself another one. But anyway, this one did the cool pulling. This one not quite as cool, but still it's cool. Um so there's those. Is there anything else? Oh, and I made this one too. So then this is um a beanie I made out of the leftovers, if you remember this hat, this first uh, attempt at a double brim beanie, I mean a double layer beanie, 
I have this. I had some of this left over. The I don't remember what color this maroonish. This is all um, Lion Brand feels like alpaca. No touch of alpaca. And then which is like ninety two percent acrylic and eight percent of pow. Wait, I have it right here. Let me see. It is. 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca. This was clearanced out. All these were clearanced out of Joanne, so I don't know if it's going away or if just certain colors are going away. But if you like it, you might want to grab some. Um, so I had some of this left and some of this left. So um, I started to... So I made this beanie. This is just a general beanie, no pattern. Um, just a Knit 3 Pearl one. Um, brim for a bit and then just I did stripes only thing about this is is this is where it is so I tried a couple different methods of doing jogless joins and actually now looking back on it a week later so it started off okay so you see this is okay hold on am I showing you no <laughs> showing myself okay so this is my seam right and you see it started off here okay but then it started going off a bit so this first method I felt like was kind of a dud. So then I went back to the other method I found, which is just like you knit around one time. So this method, I forget what I do. You knit around one time. I don't remember what I do, but it didn't work. So it doesn't matter. Um, but this one works a lot better up here. What I did up here, which kind of helped it come back on track a little, is that you um, knit around one time and then the first or like the first stitch of that second row in your new color, you knit one below. So that means that, um, I can show you. Mm, no, I can't. Mm, you knit one below, like, so you have the stitch that you're on to the row that you're on, or the row that you just knit, and then you have the row right below it, which is just like you just stick your needle into like the little V shape and knit there. And yeah, so that's what it is. I have a hair in my mouth. So I made this one, I like it a lot. Um, I like it. I like a nice tight brim. It's not too, it's a little bit of space in here. For me, that's fine because I got hair. Um, but for other people, it might be a little bit slouchy. Um, but yeah, this one doesn't have a home. I'm going to probably donate this one as well. Also, I carried, I carried the yarn up, like as I did the stripes, like I carried the yarn up, but I feel like I did it too tight because I can definitely feel the seam, which I don't love. Um, but yeah, this one is just a little hat I knit that, that I whipped up last week. So that's gonna be donated as well, probably. And now onto the purples. Or actually before that, then my stepson. So I told you he wanted me to do him a bucket hat and picked out the colors. Well, then he saw his dad's double bring beanie. He was like putting it on. And so um, I was like, okay, do you want a bucket hat or do you want a beanie? And he was like, I prefer a beanie. And so I was like, all right, you want it single layer or double layer? He said he wanted single layer. He said he wanted it with one, just one big stripe, um, one big stripe in the middle. So perfect. I was like, okay, I can do that. So I got out, this is, um, I had some more of this color here, which is some kind of gray. I don't remember. I have it right behind me, don't I? Oh, which now I can't find it. It's a light gray. And I have a little bit more of it here on my yarn caddy. Um, so I was like, all right, I'll do that. And then I just picked out, and went through like some of the other colors as I got. So, cause I got, originally I just bought just like this one here, which is a charcoal. And I was just gonna make a bunch of hats for my family, like different sizes for my husband, for my boys, etc. Then I went back to Joanne's, as one does. And I um, found they had like some other colors. So they had this one here, which is Jade. It's upside down, so that's Jade. They had, um, that's when I picked up um, these two colors which are goldenrod, this is goldenrod, I think this was crimson. And then this purplish color here, which is purple aster. Purple aster. And is that it? Mm, 
And I guess that's it. So that's when I went back and I was like, all right, I'll just, I'll make my, I'll make myself a hat with one of them or whatever. Um, and so I, uh, I went back and that's when like Joanne had their clearance for like 25% off. So this, these cost me like $3 a piece. So definitely stocked up on them. Um, okay. So anyway, I, so I looked through what I had and I figured this one was probably be the one he'd like the most. Um, so I paired the leftover light gray with the jade and I am working on his hat for him. So I think I started this on Saturday, maybe Sunday. Um, I think I cast on and did like the brim on Sunday, on Saturday. And then I did most of this, all of this on Sunday. This I just, and then everything since then I've done today. So now we're on the decreases. Um, so I can probably finish this tomorrow, which is good because his birthday is on Saturday. And he's a teenager now, so he doesn't really want stuff or he's going to be a teenager on Saturday. He doesn't want stuff. Um, his, he just wants like cash and gift cards or whatever. His dad did get him one thing that he's probably going to like. Um, and I'll give him his hat and then they wanted me to make him a cake, which I said, sure, even though I have not made a cake since I was like probably a teenager myself. Um, except for maybe a couple, like, no, nah, probably maybe one or two like the powder and the milk and the oil. But I mean, when I was younger, I used to bake from scratch. I rarely ever, you know, so I was like, maybe I'll try to make one from scratch. I'll have to look and see what I got. Um, and, and, um, yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, onto these hats. Let me grab this pile. And I definitely overshot what I needed. Um, for like I bought I told you I bought 10 skeins good night, good night. take a shower okay. brush your teeth okay. keep your don't okay um I told you I bought 10 skeins of purple I feel like even if I were to do just plain purple would not mix it with the white and the black I still could get three hats per skein so I definitely overshot what I need, but that's okay. Um, but I've only, I'm on, wait, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 here. What's your other charger? Okay. All right. Plus one upstairs that I will finish. So that's going to be 13 hats out of 19 with, um, and I'm only, when I finish this 13th hat, I mean the 14th hat, I'll have finished my third skein <laughs> of purple. So definitely I'll probably use maybe one and a half to two more and I'll have, so that's what, five? And I'll have five more sitting in my car. Uh, so anyway, that's a, a that's a struggle for another day figuring out what to do with five skeins of purple yarn by the way so this is i love this yarn which is not something i probably have used it i am not sure that i've ever used i love this yarn before i get the hype guys i get the hype it is so soft compared to like your other value acrylics okay so when i first i bought this and i started doing the first hat and I made a couple that night or made one and a half that night or something. And then I went and I was like just grabbing some of the other hats that I made recently. And one was made with, I know Red Heart Super Saver, and one was made with, I want to say Craft Smart. And I picked them both up to put them away. They felt like sandpaper after working with this <laughs> all evening. And I was like, okay, I get the hype. I totally get it. And I haven't even washed these yet and they're still so soft. Um, but yeah, I totally get it. I get why people love this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go through. Some of these I know you guys have seen. Some of them you have not. So forgive me. I'm just going to go through them. Um, and I need to separate them out by size and make sure I have like a sufficient amount in like bigger hats and smaller hats. Probably more veering. I think now I'm veering towards the bigger size because so many of the kids are on the older side. It's hard to like because I measure them based on my head and I know... My head is not the best measurement. Anyway, I'm gonna start, let me go through these. So there's this one, just stripes. I tried to do like one version of each color. So like this is like purple with black stripes. So then I did a purple with 
white stripes. Um, actually, no, I did have one that has like the actual the same, like three, it's in here somewhere. Like three, maybe it's upstairs, in which case I have, oh, it's, yeah, it is, I don't have it down here. Where is it? I know I did one with white, so that means I have another hat going around here somewhere. So I try to do like the same thing with the different colors. So there's one, there's two. It's like I have another one like this in black somewhere. You'll see it eventually. There's three. It's probably my least favorite. I definitely needed to do another row of white, but you know, I think I just like, I, def I lost count and I just like kept going and I was like, oh, this is huge. Let me stop. This is one of the first ones I did, I know. No, maybe this is a recent one. Cause I only had a couple, I only had one plain purple. So then I was like, let me go back and make another one. I think this is the second one I did. Yeah, cause this is the first one. So one's big and one's small. And I tried to do that too. Like if I had something in big, I tried to make it also in small. Okay. This, there's this one and then this one. See, so I did, you know, and then, oh. Here is purple, white, black, purple, black, white. So that, and then this here. And then these two, I am super proud of because I just happened to see someone do a checkered hat online in my, um, one of my crochet groups. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I should do that. And I... I looked up like a tutorial, I think Aaron B. And I watched like the first three minutes of it. And I was like, oh, I know how to do this. Like I didn't have, you know, I was like, oh, I get it. And I did it. And so here it is. You can see like, cause you carry the yarn for these. You can see like it underneath, like here, you see like the purple peeking out, but that's okay to me. I love, ouch, just hit my, oh, it just hit my uh, thing. I love buffalo plaids and I've been wanting to do like I've been wanting to do this knit buffalo plaid for a while and I haven't because the only ways I can figure them out no I found it found and found a tutorial that's like not exactly buffalo plaid but close that doesn't require like fair isle which I just don't feel like dealing with um but I haven't I just haven't had time to do it so I got this one and then I got this one so I figured I did both of these so that was cool because I was like, oh, <coughs> that's something I don't know how to do. And then I, I did it. Um, and I got to find that other, so I, gotta, I feel like I got at least one more. Um, so yeah, that is that. That's what I'm working on. I'm going to try to power through these this week um, and finish them off. And because we only have two games left for one. It's not been like, it's really not cold enough or it hasn't been cold enough that they really need to um, wear hats. <laughs> like It's cold in the morning. Our games are at like 9, 15 in the morning, but then it's like out in the sun. And even me, like, cause my house is very heavily wooded. My, my land, my plot, whatever, my lot is very heavily wooded. So in the morning I go out and it's chilly because it's just all shaded. Um, and then by the time I drive 15 minutes to the soccer field, like, and there's just no trees or anything, it's like, it's hot and like I have a hat on or hoodie and this and I'm like, oh, it's so hot. Every week it happens. Um, so they don't really, unless like we have a big temperature drop, they don't really need hats. There's like maybe one or two that I'll still play and like put a hat on and they all like, it's crazy because they all come out with like a sweatshirt or a long sleeve shirt under their jersey. Cause they think, cause we all, you know, we're all being good parents and telling them to bundle up. And then I'm, I always feel so bad cause they're like running around you know, with hoodies on under their jerseys or long sleeve shirts. I'm like, like no, they're uncomfortable. Um, but yeah. Um, anyhow, that is what's going on. Do I have anything coming up? Once I finish this, so uh, right there, that's that, um, this is that, that crochet shawl that I showed you guys last time. Move your finger, finger move this, this. I'm so bad at like, navigating in the camera. Okay, move out of the way, there we go. There, that right there. So that's what I wanna finish next. Down here is my son's blanket. I would show it to you that I've made a little bit, like maybe a few rows of progress. It's not enough that it looks any different, so I'm not gonna show it to you. Um, Cause I hadn't worked on it since like sometime last week. What else? Um. 
that's probably what I'll focus on next. I gotta, I wanna try to get my son's blanket done by Christmas. I think it's definitely doable. I wanna get that shawl done. And then I have another, is it a shawl? What is the thing that I wanna work on? Oh, I wanna work on that um, cocoon sweater. Bag O'Day put it out this week maybe? Or earlier, like a couple days, last week, maybe late last week. And she used um, Colorama Halo, which I have some that I bought and I had no idea yet what to do with it. So that's an idea. <laughs> so I think I can use that. I, it's gonna, I have a few different colors. And so I have to decide what color I wanna do. I think I have that honeycomb one. It's like that, it's like that honey yellow into white. I think that'd be pretty good as a sweater. I think I have that. I think I have the blue, the blue one, which wouldn't be bad. And what else? I have a couple different colors and I think I have at least two of each. So I'm gonna have to dig through my pile. I think those are, those are still stuck in the trunk. I don't think those ever made it out the car because Ogos are hard to store. Um, those are, it's the old Ogo ones. That's because that's they were clearanced out. I didn't buy the, um, the cake ones, just cause I don't feel like it. Like it's a good, it's not something I was like curious enough about that I wanted to pay full price for it, but like I found them on sale and I was like, oh yeah, you know, everybody was raving about them. And so, but yeah. And so, yeah. Um, Anything else that I wanna say that's coming up to me? I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. Looking around at my pile. Okay, yeah, yeah. Can I show you guys here? Um, can I do this without making it dirty? All right. Hold on. So, I'm gonna show you. Maybe I'll insert it. No, let's see. I'll just insert a picture. Because I was gonna take you off my little mount and show you. Because right next to me, I have in a bag, I have all of the, I think I told you this last time. I have all of the um, yarn that I want to do that pink blanket that I was excited about. It's all of the Big Twist yarns. I said I wanted to do like a pink and gray thing. Um, so I have them right next to me. I'm looking at them. They, they're like taking up a lot of space next to me. So I think I'm finally going to let myself start that once I get these hats out of the way. Once I get um, this shawl done, the blanket doesn't, my son's blanket doesn't need to be done before I start this. But um, so within the next week or so, I think I'm going to start this. I had like my plan of what I was going to do. I feel like I might change it slightly. So originally I was going to do kind of like blocks of garter stitch across and then break up. So, okay, let's say I'm going to just grab a couple. So let's say I start with this color, right? So I would do like a block of garter stitch, maybe eight inches or so. I don't know. I'm just making up a number, right? And then I'll take this gray, right, which is not showing up really well, but it's a darker gray. It's almost a charcoal, titanium gray. Um, and I would do like a couple rows of um, stockinette in between to break it up. And then let's say this is the next color. Um, then it'd be like this color in garter stitch. And then a few more rows. I have two different grays. I don't know if I'm gonna use them both or only use one, All right? But either way, the idea was to have blocks of pink and then to break it up with like a few rows of stockinette in between those blocks to make it, give it a little bit of texture. Now, I'm kind of like, maybe I should do, instead of doing just garter stitch, maybe I should do like another stitch. And I'm trying to decide. Garter stitch is good. I feel like it is very good for blankets because it's like fluffy. Maybe I'll stick with, I'll stick with that. Garter stitch is fluffy. It's reversible, even though the, Stock in that won't be the, obviously won't be reversible in between. Maybe I'll do a ribbing in between. No, because that doesn't, I don't know. Um, but it's fluffy and soft. It feels good when you like to wrap up in it. So maybe I'll just stick with that instead of trying to be too, too creative. We will see. But I had a couple ideas. Like I thought about, because I've been wanting to use the rice stitch for years and I haven't ever used it in anything. I've been wanting to use. What other stitch? There's a few other stitches that I have been 
wanting to use and just hadn't got around to using like a whole collection of them so that's why I was like maybe I'll do something else but also for something that big I kind of want it to be mindless I just want to be able to knit across knit 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 not think about it not worry about dropping stitches not worry about missing up a count anything like that so I think yeah let me just stick to my original plan then I thought about doing mosaic but with mosaic you have if you do a border, like your border is like alternating the colors, which I don't love. Um, so yeah, anyway, there's that. But I will give myself permission to start that within the next week or so. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is it. I will talk to you guys soon. Um, let's see, I always say, I think I said that last time. It's been like two weeks, right? I'll talk to you guys though. Um, I really feel like there's something I'm forgetting. But oh well, it's going to have to be forgotten. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you guys have a great week. Um, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And share if you want to. Um, my email, if you want to get in touch with me, is talkyarny to me at gmail.com. It's talkyarny to me, not like how my name is spelled on youtube i will try to remember to put that down on the in my um description if i mention i always forget to uh put like links and stuff in my description so if i mention something and you guys want to know what it is or where it came from please keep me honest please feel free to ask me and i will get that to you um but i just forget like i'll just be forgetting um, all right. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for my new subscribers because it has trickled up. I noticed like just in the last couple of weeks since I've been home, um, my numbers have trickled up a little bit and I appreciate that. Um, I really hope that you guys are enjoying what you see here. I know that I tend to ramble. I know that I am not super flashy. Um, very much a slice of life <laughs> yarn blogger, if that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm probably never going to get to the point where I do like tons of boxings, um, and tons of giveaways, if ever. I don't know if I'll ever do a giveaway. Like the logistics of it just seem ridiculous. Not ridiculous. No, sorry. If you do giveaways, that's great. For me personally, the logistics are overwhelming. Um, but yeah, uh, so I know that nobody is at all obligated to tune in to just watch me ramble on about my life and projects um so i i definitely appreciate everyone that has subscribed lately everyone that watches um and i know my retention is not great like probably no one has made it to the end of this um video or at all but if you have i appreciate you and um you're great. And I like I said the last or not the last time at some other point, if you have a channel and um, you watch me, please feel free to like leave it below. And um, if I do not already watch you, I will be sure to check you out. I will be sure to subscribe. Um, and I never remember to like, but I'll I've been trying to remember to like. And I almost never comment. I'm a huge lurker. So, um, OK. All right. That's it under 30 minutes. We're going to keep it that way. Love you guys. Bye.